In this example, it is not as simple as before, where we had a trigonometric equation equal to a constant. However, we are not far from that. So, in order to get to a trigonometric equation uh, or trigonometric ratio equal to a constant, all we simply need to do is get tan beta on its own. Okay, that's not very difficult. I simply divide with 88 on both sides. Okay, divide with 88 on both sides, and then I have tan of beta equal to 95 over 88 okay and that's not a problem at all because that is a, a trig ratio equal to a constant as soon as I get a trig ratio equal to a constant I can get the reference angle using the inverse function of 10 so the inverse of 95 over 88 just something I can mention here you'll always notice that 10 it has the possibility that the constant it's equal to may be larger than 1 or equal to 1. However, for sine and cos, the maximum constant you can have is 1. Anything larger than 1 would be uh, no solution. Okay, so in this case, we can have a solution. 95 divided by 88 is larger than 1, but tan can have that ratio. Okay, so we have 88. No, I lie. We have 95 divided by 88, which gives me one point blah, 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 blah. That's not important. What is important is if I take the inverse um, function of 10, okay, I get 47.19 as my reference angle. Okay, 47,19 degrees is my reference angle. 10 only has one uh, general solution. The general solution for 10 is the reference angle beta is equal to the reference angle plus 180 times k. Again, 180 takes me from the first to the third quadrant uh, where first and third quadrant where tan is positive. That's why I, I'm not adding 360 but 180 and therefore both solutions are already contained in this. Okay, so um, k is still an element of integers and uh, since we have our reference angle as 47,19 plus 180 times k, where k is an element of integers, that is therefore the solution, or at least the general solution to this equation.